Okay, here we go. Here we go. If I get deaf again two times in a row, I've got deaf. If I get deaf again, I'm going to kick a child. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to kick a child. That was a TikTok jerk. And I just realized that not all of you guys will get that if you haven't seen the TikTok trends or like the kick the child dancing. If you haven't seen that, I'm not really going to kick a child. Well, I got 200 diamonds, so all children are safe. No children will be harmed in the process of creating my videos. If we don't win a healer from the fountain this try, then I'll kick a child. Right, well, I guess we need to bring that healer, you guys. Otherwise, Dolly's gonna kick a child. So come on, let's do this. Let's do this, Mafalda. I'm coming for you if I don't win this. I swear to Jeebus. I'm gonna come for you if I do not win a healer right now. Even though I'm not gonna use your table because I can't bother to open it, it's still your fault if I don't get it. I hope we're all agreed. Everyone, let Mafalda know. B said it's her fault that I haven't won a healer if I don't win one, just so that we're clear and everybody understands. My gym clothes that I was wearing to exercise are in the corner. Please ignore. Don't look at them. It's embarrassing. Wait, exercising is not embarrassing. It makes me sound like I... I'm not lazy. I did it for 15 minutes, got tired and gave up, guys. Don't get excited. XP Mafalda. Never mind kicking children. I'm gonna kick Mafalda. She's coming for you. Hey, wonderful little beans. My name is V and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, you stack a B when buying Robux or Premium, and make sure you click that bell so you never miss any of my daily Royal High videos. You guys, I am excited because today we are going to be talking about something. In my opinion, lots of you guys are going to be excited about, but it turns out I'm pretty dumb because for this video, I do actually need to be on air in a minute. Not yet. In a minute, I need to go back to air. But first of all, we can start off talking in here because part of the video does require me to be in Diamond Beach. And that part is because Diamond Beach actually has one or two, maybe three actually, fun ways of transport in the game. Come to think of it, you guys, I think Diamond Beach may be the place inside of the whole of Royal High that has the most modes of transport other than walking and flying. Now, what I'm talking about specifically here is, of course, first things first. If we go on a little zoomy zoom over here, we do have these very fancy pizza bikes that obviously, uh, I don't know what just happened. But obviously you can fly around on these, well, zoom around on these and go and deliver some pizzas if you want to. They're very pretty. They're very zoomy. We love them. And actually, I really, really like these. These are probably one of my favorite modes of transport in Royal High. I think this is really cool. Then we also have bicycles. Mine fly. And also for some reason, I jump up and down constantly when riding on the bicycle, which is a little bit strange. And then lastly, the other mode of transport that we have other than like, I mean, ones you can control because you can't control yourself inside of the car is, of course, the jet skis that also make you jump up and down very strangely when you're riding on them, which is really, really weird. And I'm not sure why this is happening in Moral High lately, but the animations are all very bugged out and very, very broken. Now, in terms of modes of transport, there is one mode of transport that is going to be changing very soon. I'm sure many of you guys have already heard about it. So let's talk specifically about the transportation you will use to attend the new school in Moral High. Let's go to Earth real quick. Doopy 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 doo. Here we are on Earth. Now, the main mode of transport on Earth is jumping in the back of strangers' cars. Don't do that in real life, please. But of course, the primary mode of transport people will have used the most back when Earth was the main lobby will have been the carriage. Now, I do believe the carriage does still work. No, it doesn't. I don't think it still works. Okay, so to get to the new school or the current campus, it's no longer called new school, it's called the current campus. You have to teleport there now for whatever reason. The carriage. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. It does work. It just takes forever and makes my whole game freeze. Well, at least it still works, right? Anyways, it is the main mode of transport into the current campus, which is now called Campus 2. For whatever reason, you don't ride on it into the school anymore, though you do actually just appear here, which is quite strange. But many of you guys will probably be already aware, the Campus 3, the new school, is not going to use this carriage for transportation. Oh, sad face, sad noises. Loads of you guys may be wondering at this point, what is it going to use then if you haven't been keeping up with the tea. Well, you guys, it's going to be using something a bit more modernized. I hate that colorful brightness is the only way to make the game not look dark in Campus 2, but colorful brightness makes everything else look ridiculous. The new mode of transport is, of course, going to be the Royal High New School Bus. This 
is a boss that Ready the Teddy made, and these screenshots were grabbed by Sticks and Tricks last year, and it showcases this beautiful, very reminiscent of the Magic School bus, rainbow pastel, beautiful new school colored bus that we are going to be getting inside of the new school. So this is obviously going to be your mode of transport to get yourself from wherever you can be, obviously in the game, whichever comes out at the time, into the new school. Now this campus is going to be exciting, but the bus and all of the other little integral parts that go into creating this new update are going to be incredibly exciting too. As you guys will already know, the developers have been really focused on creating a lot of really cool things that are going to all together create this new school experience. And I personally am very excited about it because one of the things that I think is really exciting is that everything is matching in branding and in colours. If you watch my backpack video right before this one, you will see that the new backpacks and my previous video about the new wheels all match these beautiful designs. The bus matches all of it. You can see the blue windows, the yellow frames, the yellow edging, the beautiful wheels with all the different rainbow colours on there, which match the wheel inside of the new school, the new wheel that you're going to be able to turn and spin to be able to win things. It has a beautiful start on the edge of the wheels. We've got this gorgeous front of the bus with the pink hats, the white little details in there as well, and the main bus itself is pink, and it has some blue bits going around as well, matching all of the theming for the new school. Now, I personally think that this is absolutely absolutely gorgeous. I think this is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And I do believe there were some screenshots showing potentially the bus having wings. So I'm not sure if it will actually fly to the new school. Maybe the new school is on some clouds or floating on an island rather than the current campus, which is obviously on the ground. Now, if you look at this from a side angle, you can really see the amount of detail that's being put into this. And you can see the sketching at the top of the wings that are obviously built to extend out. So if you look at these wings, they actually come in and then extend out. And then obviously, flap, 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 flap. Basically, these wings are presumably going to allow the bus to fly, which has got me wondering if this new school bus is actually going to fly you to the new campus. Kind of like Sky High, if you've ever seen it. I don't know if we'll be able to get a clip of the bus flying. It makes them all freak out and they all sort of fly back. But it would be really, really, really cool if this is going to be the system that they're going to have. Like you can see, the bus is quite large. You can see some people's feetsies down there. So you can see quite how high the bus actually is going to be. And in my opinion, this is going to be really cool. And I can't imagine how cool it would be if we we're going to be able to drive it. I don't think you'll be able to drive it yourself but can you imagine if you could that would literally be so cool now some people have wondered if maybe there are going to be some field trips or something connected to this like school trips you can go on where you go inside of the bus now imagine if there's a class included in the new campus where you can get on the bus and go on a field trip to say like a local cafe or something imagine harry potter where you can get on like the carts and go to the local town that would be so cool i would really 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 enjoy that and this new bus is going to literally open up so many doors I feel like for new updates too just because it's so modern it looks so much nicer than the carriage in my opinion and I'm excited about the idea of it being able to take us to different places obviously if they're considering creating modes of transport here there surely is going to be more than just hopping in the bus to go to school especially since as far as we're aware the new campus is going to be the main realm that you will spawn in when you first join so you won't need to go to air first an old outdated realm and then get on the bus to get to the school so surely the bus is going to be used for some Something else. Naturally, we won't know until it comes out, but personally, I'm excited to find out what it could be used for. Now, you guys, I have to say, I do think the new bus is gorgeous. And while obviously I'll miss the doggies at the front of the carriage and the carriage in general, I do think it's really honing in on the fact that Royal High has changed so much. It's coming away from being focused around a princess school and now being focused more on this wide range of genres that we can all enjoy and everybody can enjoy different parts of without being constrained to just thinking about it as a school. I think for a long time, it was always considered to just be a school. And now we're going to be able to think about it much more widely and have a stronger ability to look around different areas of the school and maybe consider it as more than just a princess game. This is going to be so much more when it finally comes out. Now, I'd love to know if you guys are as excited as I am about this new bus. Let me know in the comments down below. I've been trying to do a bunch of videos over the last few days. I'm sure you've noticed going over all the old tea again and just reminding you guys of the hype that we have for the new school during this build-up period that we are on until the new school comes out. I know it's been a long time and I know you guys are getting a little bit angsty and a lot of people are getting a bit nervous and waiting for the new school to come out. But I promise you guys, it will be worth the wait. And naturally, it's nice to get excited again and look over these things. So if you're a new member of the community and have never seen these, you can get excited for the first time. And if you're an old member, perhaps you can get re-excited for something that we haven't seen in a little while. 
As always, the little beans, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I love you all lots. Goodbye.